Hello everyone, this is Hank. I'm back today for another episode of Adobe Camera Raw. And today we are going to talk about the remove panel. The remove panel in ACR used to be called the healing panel. And to access it, you can either press B, as in Bravo, or you can go here and click. Okay, either way will get you into this panel. And this panel here, it has... Uh, three things it has to remove the heel and the clone okay and, and we will uh, kind of explain uh, which one is which for you okay the remove as the name suggests it will remove an object of your choosing with and replace it with something else okay and that depends on whether or not you are going to choose the generative AI or not. Okay. Uh, and uh, when you click the object aware, it might help you identify the object better than you could have done it yourself. Okay. Uh, so, so you kind of try it if the other method doesn't work. So that it gives you that option. All right. Now, Generative AI is using um, Adobe Firefly, and um, and it's pretty good right now. It is in beta stage, um, meaning early access. Early access is like down here, as you can see, it said provide feedback, and and uh, because it is a beta version, it's not finalized. It gives you the option to tell Adobe, you know, your opinion on how well the generative AI works All right. Um, today we are going to use it now if you don't use it it's not gonna be very good at all and that that's a common problem with the ACR before the generative AI okay, so we are not gonna bother trying non generative AI so with that uh, it gives you a brush and you can adjust it by either uh, the square bracketing or you can change the size here okay uh, now the opacity um, gives you the amount of selection okay so for example if you have an object like a fish in the water which is kind of semi-transparent then you may want to change the opacity so that the replacement is not looking like something pasted on uh, so it does match the environment okay in our case we don't have water we don't have semi-transparent anything so we're gonna leave opacity as a hundred okay and um, I'm I don't think I need the object aware uh, so I'm gonna do it without if it doesn't work and then we'll use it otherwise you don't need to okay so you can just make a selection like this okay so if I make a mistake and I choose too much it gives me a option after I do that by whether or not I want to subtract the selection or add to it in this case I want to subtract it because I don't really want to it to select and replace that okay so something like this would be good okay and then I can press apply it will take a little bit of time to do it because it's artificial intelligence and you need uh, internet access in order to do this generative AI because it uses the cloud. Okay, so it gives this as one of the options. Why do I know that one, because it said variation one out of three, so it gives you three choices. Okay, so it shows you this, which is the overlay. Okay, you can click this to to mute it, or you can click it again to show it, or you can use a Victor V to do the same thing. Okay, so let's try variation number two. Okay, so it gives you something like this, which is not that bad, really. Let's try number three. Yeah, I like number three better. 
with the exception of that black thing there. But okay, so maybe we'll we'll choose number three, but we are going to remove this black thing there. That doesn't look like it belongs. Okay, so and we will use it with healing. Okay. So we can go to the healing. Healing, you can control the feathering. And again, the opacity and the size, right? Um, well I, I usually just use a square bracket. Okay, so I want to cover this one like that. Okay, so healing, what it does is like it's going to go grab something and replace it with, okay, to tell what did it grab, you press a show overlay. So it grab it down here, which I don't think is a good idea. Okay, so what you can do is you you move the cursor until you see the the cross here there. That means you can move. Okay, so you can move it somewhere else to copy something else, like this. Okay. And if I choose, I choose that, and let go, and unclick the overlay, and that looks pretty good, better than before. Okay. And I'm going to use a clone to get rid of that half of this black thing. The black thing is only on top, right? Or or shouldn't even be there. So we can use a clone this time. Okay. Now the clone and the healing are identical, except that with the clone, it will simply take the color and the brightness from the the source and bring it to the destination. So if you have differences in color and and brightness, it will show up as sore thumb. Now the healing, it will try to match the destination brightness and color. Okay, so th those are the two differences. But the healing, because it's trying to match, sometimes it, it causes a lot of smudging. Uh, the, so with the cloning, again, I'm going to try to highlight this thing like that, let go, right? And this thing had taken something different from somewhere. And in order to see that, you press overlay. And it had gone over here and do it. Okay, so, and it does a fairly good job there. Okay, so so I think that's a keeper. So that's basically how you use these. All right. Now, the refresh is like when you're unhappy with it, you can just press refresh and it will choose something else. Okay, so that that is how you you restart it. Okay, and that works with the healing as well, the free refresh, and with the with the uh, uh, generative AI as well. Okay, um, generative AI kind of got rid of um, the thing right there, which I don't like. Okay, so I can just do a Control Z to get back to the other one which is probably a little bit better. No, that's a healing. I, I want the uh, cloning. Okay, so cloning is better. All right, so now, and 
I unclick the show overlay, and I think this image is acceptable. And if if you want, you can try to fix a little bit more. Um, but you know, there there's a point. There comes a point that that is counterproductive. So that's completely up to you. Okay, so we basically cover everything except the visualized spots. Okay, so when you click on a visualized spot, your photo shows up like this. And what it's really doing is like it's trying to show the spots, the round spots. Okay, so uh, like this. Okay, and the visualized spots is helpful uh, when you have sensor dust. Sensor dust showed up as light dark round spots especially on the the sky and stuff and sometimes you can't see it with the naked eye so we are going to use a different photo to show you that okay so i have this photo that's full of sensor dust okay so many of them you can see with the naked eye right but sometimes you cannot see it because it's hidden among other objects. Okay, so when you press the visualize spots, okay, they will show up. And if you don't clearly see all of them, you can change the the um, the brightness or, or whatever so that you can see the spots better. Okay, so so once you do that, you can just use, I think the healing is the best for something like this. And then you adjust the the brush so that it's just slightly bigger than your spot. Okay, and just go over there, click on it, and quickly remove them. And this thing has a lot. Lots and lots and lots. Quite a few. You know, this photo I took from somewhere is not my. I always clean my. I'm a sensor cleanliness nut. I never let my sensor be dirty. So I don't have any of the sensor dust photo to show you. Except for this one. Okay, so if you look around, you can see sometimes the spots are hidden in the uh, in the background. It's kind of hard to see. Okay, so maybe one more here. Maybe one more here and here and here. They pretty small and faint. Okay, so and then you unclick it to see if you can spot any more. So here I can spot. So the the visualized spot don't always show everything, but it show most of them. Okay, so now as you can see that it looks pretty clear. Okay, so this was before lots of dust and this was after. So you don't see hardly any anymore. So with that, uh, we come to the end of the video, and I would like to, again, thank you so much for staying with me until the end. I would really appreciate a like from you, and if you haven't subscribed, a subscription from you would highly appreciate it. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.